Once upon a time in a small, bustling town called Green Valley, there lived three curious friends named Lily, Max, and Emma. They loved playing outdoors and exploring the wonders of nature. One sunny afternoon, as they were playing near the sparkling Blue River, they noticed something strange. What's that floating in the water? asked Lily, her brows furrowing as she pointed to a colorful array of objects bobbing on the river's surface. Max leaned closer and said, I think those are plastic bottles and bags, but why are they in the river? Emma, the most resourceful of the trio, had an idea. Let's find out what's happening here, she said, determined to solve the mystery. The three friends decided to investigate. They hopped onto their bicycles and pedaled towards the town's library, where they knew they could find answers. Inside the library, they met Mrs. Turner, the friendly librarian. Hello, Mrs. Turner, Lily greeted. We found some plastic in the Blue River, and we want to know more about pollution. Mrs. Turner smiled and led them to a colorful section of books. That's wonderful, kids. Let's start by reading about pollution. The friends spent hours reading and learning about pollution. They were surprised by many facts. Tiny pollutants, big problems. They discovered that some pollutants, like microplastics, were so small they couldn't be seen with the naked eye. These tiny particles could harm animals and enter the food chain. Air Pollution's Impact the kids were shocked to learn that air pollution didn't just affect the air we breathe, but could also make the sky look hazy and change the colors of sunsets. Marine Marvels Emma found out that the Blue River eventually flowed into the ocean. She was saddened to learn that plastic pollution in rivers could harm sea creatures far away in the sea. Invisible Pollutants Max was amazed to find out that pollution wasn't always visible. Some pollutants, like carbon monoxide from cars, were odorless and colorless, but could be very harmful. After hours of research, the friends realized that pollution was a much bigger problem than they had ever imagined. They knew they had to take action to protect their beloved Green Valley. Determined to make a difference, they decided to organize a Clean Up Green Valley Day. They made posters, talked to their neighbors, and even got their parents involved. On the big day, the whole town came together to clean up the river, the parks, and the streets. Everyone was surprised by how much trash they collected. As time passed, the kids continued to educate themselves about pollution and its effects. They even started a recycling club at their school and encouraged their classmates to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Slowly but surely, Green Valley began to change. The river sparkled once again, the air became fresher, and the town grew greener. The friends realized that by learning about and taking action against pollution, they had made their town a healthier and happier place to live. From that day on, Lily, Max, and Emma were known as the Pollution Puzzlers, always ready to solve the mysteries of pollution and protect their beautiful green valley. They showed everyone that even kids could make a big difference when it came to taking care of the environment.